Hi, I'm Tina Verselli. I'm one of the instructors here at the Goddard Center Art Studios. And today I'm going to show you a, uh, a collage technique. Uh, it is uh, patterned after something called Japanese no-tan. Now, no-tan literally means light and dark in Japanese. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of square construction paper and we're going to cut it to show positive and negative uh, space. Because I want to have something a little bit more interesting than just black and white, I'm going to first start by putting down some um, colored pieces of uh, tissue paper. And I'm just going to use a simple glue stick. Put the glue down. And then lay on the paper. And just make a nice interesting little pattern. And I've just cut random shapes. And I want my shapes to overlap. You'll see when one piece comes over the other, another color is made. Be really careful and make sure that all of my edges are glued down. And notice I'm putting the glue on the the piece that I'm gluing down. I'm not putting the glue on the paper itself because I want to make sure that the glue is only underneath the paper, not just underneath the, the tissue paper. If I put the glue here and the, paper, the tissue paper doesn't cover it up, I'll have this sticky little blob here that I'll have to deal with. And it gets kind of messy that way. So always put your glue on the back of the piece that you're gluing down. Make sure all your edges are down. Sometimes it helps to take the paper and kind of bend it up. And if you see anything sticking up, see how that one's sticking up? Right there. Put a little glue right there. Glue it down. I think everything is all right. all right. So now I'm going to think about how I'm going to cut this piece of this piece of square construction paper up to make an interesting uh, design. I don't want to cut too far into the center my first couple of cuts. I want to keep it towards the edge. And I want to look at this kind of as a puzzle. That piece slips right in there. All right. And then when I start to glue it down, I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to flip it. And it's going to fit right there. And what that does is it creates a positive space, which is this part, and then the negative space, which is the part that's been, the hole that's left where it's been cut away. So I have positive space and I have negative space. Right. So I'm going to set that aside and then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to think about how this is going to look. I think I'm going to make a shape that's very similar to the first shape that I made. I'm going to make a cut there and then I'm going to cut a zigzag It'll be a little different, but it fits right in there. Okay, and then when I take it and I flip it, I end up with the positive space and the negative space. See, in this piece, when I flip it, I've got positive space and negative space. Okay. 
set those aside. Now I'm going to figure out what I want to do on the sides. If you've done tessellations before, this is sort of like tessellations. So... It's right in there, and then when I flip it, it'll be right there. that piece. And when I flip it, I'm going to have a positive and negative. Right. Now that I've got those four pieces cut, I'm going to go ahead and piece my puzzle back together. And then take a look and see what it looks like all flipped out. That piece gets flipped that way. And just look at it as you're, you're flipping a page in a book. Okay. Here's the page, and then it flips right there. You want it to line up right there with that space. Now the neat thing we can do is I can go ahead and cut some pieces out of here and flip it the other way and fill in this negative space here as well. So, let's start with this one. That piece goes there and then this one's going to flip right there. If you get confused, just put your pieces together like the puzzle. Okay. And flip and then you know that's where it goes okay now I could continue and cut a piece out of here and flip it this way if I wanted I could cut a piece here and flip it out this way if I wanted you're only really limited to your imagination as long as you remember to cut and flip okay. I think I like that pattern I think I like this design. So I think at this point, I'm going to put it all back together on this piece and glue it down. I've got all of my pieces laid out onto uh, my uh, paper. Now I'm going to start flipping the, the uh, positive pieces out to show the negative space and then start gluing it down. So I've got my glue stick. Let's flip this piece first. And I want it kind of centered on my page. Right. Line that up. Right. Remember, I'm going to glue over here, not on your paper, because then you don't want some sticky mess over here. This glue is kind of, it's a little repositionable until it dries, so you can kind of move it and manipulate it if you need to. real easy to get confused so always 
check and double check before you put the glue on the paper. these out just a little bit and I'm going to glue this main piece in there next. And the big piece you want to make sure you get glue everywhere, all the little pieces. On my little pieces sometimes it's just easier just to put the piece on top of the glue stick like that. Get it glued up. And if your pieces are really small, you can always use a set of uh, tweezers to You can use regular white glue with this, but this goes a whole lot easier and a lot it doesn't um, wrinkle up and it dries fairly quickly. Nice. flat pieces. You're done. Wipe off any excess glue that might be sticking up on the edges. And that is Japanese Notam. I'm Tina Verselli. Thanks for watching.